Part 3, Choosing Your Motherboard. Now there are many motherboards out there, but not all of them are right for you. But since you've already chosen your CPU, you've made it that much more easier on yourself. Because motherboards you sort by socket type. Same thing with CPUs. If you got a Core 2 Duo, most likely it's socket 775. If you got a Core i7, most likely it's socket uh, 1366. Now if you're wondering what a motherboard does exactly, um, try and think of it as your spine or your skeleton. What it does is you connect all your components to it. You connect your CPU, you connect your RAM, you connect your graphics cards. If it doesn't have an integrated graphics chip already, you connect sound cards, um, PVRs, you connect hard drives. Everything you need to build a computer goes into the motherboard. Now, like I said earlier, there are many motherboards out there. This is a mid-range motherboard. This is an enthusiast motherboard. This has four DIMM slots. This has six. Dual channel RAM, triple channel RAM. This one has two PCI Express slots. That one has three. So it, it really comes down to how much of what components are on it, as well as its chip set. So let's go into a few parts of a motherboard. You've got your DIMM slots, your direct inline memory module slots. So you, it's where your RAM goes. Also next to it, you've got your CPU socket. This is socket 775. That is socket 1366. So your processor goes on top with your processor fan going right here. Now this is your north bridge and this is your south bridge. This is your I.O. plate. It's what you see sticking out of the back of your computer. Now right here we've got PCI Express slots. We've got two on this one, three on this one. With NVIDIA and with um, ATI, their external graphics cards, which would go there, can run up to two or three or even four at a time. So here you could do dual SLI. SLI stands for Scalable Link Interface. You could have two video cards hooked in together, pushing out double the power. In this, you could have three. Um, so for NVIDIA, it would be called SLI, and for ATI, it would be called Crossfire. But I'll be going over that in the future with the choosing your video card video. Moving on, we've got PCI slots. Um, PCI slots are almost the same thing as PCI Express, only a little slower. Usually, or today, they would have them running possibly sound cards. You could have it running uh, tuner cards, video capture cards, stuff like that. So here you got PCI X times one. Usually that's just for sound cards. Um, if you have an older motherboard, if you're looking into picking up an older motherboard, I don't even know if they sell them with this anymore. They're called AGP slots. They're sort of like this, but they're brown. And that is what old video cards used to hook up into. I don't even think you can buy that anymore. But if you have it, I mean, if that's what you're using, you're going to want to upgrade. So moving on, we've got SATA 2 ports. What they do is they're the interface that you connect your newer hard drives as well as your newer optical drives. This one has them on the side here. So if you're running an older hard drive or an older optical drive, you have these ports here. This motherboard has two, this motherboard has one. What they are, they're IDE drives. Those big fat ribbons that you see, that's what those are. Those have been replaced with SATA 2. Why? Because SATA 2 is faster, smaller, and, well, I guess better, right? <laughs> so those are your basic parts of a motherboard. So go ahead, choose it. You can choose it by price if you're on a budget. But make sure you choose it by whatever socket your CPU is. If you have a socket 775 motherboard and you're trying to put a 1366 chip in it, it won't work. You'll damage your chip and motherboard. It's, it's not a good idea to do that. So remember to read up. It's clearly visible on the box, so you, you shouldn't be able to mess this up. Just make sure your motherboard and your CPU are the same socket set. So 775 with 775, 
1366 with 1366. So I hope this has given you a basic understanding of a motherboard. Um, this is pretty much all you really need to know. Um, I'll go in further where stuff goes with with the how to install a motherboard video and just keep watching and you'll you know you'll you'll get it. So stay tuned. Remember check out the next video, video four, which is choosing a graphics card. Now, if you're wondering what a motherboard does exactly, simple. Think of it as your spine. Everything connects to it. Every rib, every, do ribs connect to your spine?